mindset. Amen, amen, amen. The word of God that was read to you in your hearing this morning, amen, is coming out of the book of Ephesians chapter 4, <clears throat> verses 20, amen, and to 23, amen, and then, praise God, amen, going over to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 5. Praise God, I thank God. Amen. Thank you. Praise God. Amen. Those of you that have it, I'm reading out the King James Version. Amen. Stand on your feet. Praise God. We thank God. Amen. Who is ahead of our lives on today. Amen. We find Paul is talking to the church at Ephesus and also the church at Philippi. Amen. But Paul is telling them the same thing. Praise God. That we must be living as new people. As we begin to read the word in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 20, Paul began to tell the church's Ephesus, he said, But ye have not so learned Christ. But if so, if so, be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus, that ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. I want you to keep that in the, in the forefront of your mind, in the spirit of your mind. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 say, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We praise your holy name now, God. We, we ask you now to let Elma die, Father God, of you, Father God, and let your Holy Spirit come in, God, that you would get all the glory, honor, and praise. I ask you to clear my throat, yes. Father God, and that your perfect will will be said. Yes, For it's in the name of Jesus, God, we give it all to you. And we decree and declare that it is done according to your will and your way. And we say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Amen. 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 It's a brand new man. Mm -hmm. I heard that song and I was like, oh my God. Lord, you keep confirming your word. You may be seated in the presence of Almighty God. You keep confirming your word. You keep confirming, praise God, knowing that, praise God, that we as Christians on today got to have a new mindset. We cannot stay the same. Amen. We cannot be, our mindset should be even different than yesterday. Amen. Amen. Because God has created us a new being on today and we ought to live a new person in Christ. Yes. Amen. If I was to speak or talk to you today, it would be a new mind. Amen. And my subtopic would be, it's a brand new man. Amen. A new mind. A new mind is something that most people long for. Most people desire to have new thoughts within their mind. Most people don't have good thoughts in their mind all the time. Most people rather think of bad things than to think of good things. Uh, amen. My message is going to be taken from verse number 23 of Ephesians 4. It said, and be renewed in the spirit of of your mind. Yes. Amen. We find that most people think that your brain and your mind are the same thing. Uh, amen. But your brain is part of the visible, tangible world of the body. Amen. Your mind is part of the invisible, the transit world of thought, feeling, attitude, beliefs, emotions, imagination. The brain is the process or the physical organ most associated with mind and conscious, but the mind is not confined to the brain. Well, Did y'all hear what I said? I said the mind is not confined to the brain. Amen. The brain, amen. Amen. You have what we call, amen, some downloading and some uploading. Amen. That comes into the mind. Amen. Amen. Things will be 
become, praise God, in the brain that's good and bad. Uh, extra, uh, electrolytes that run all through your body. Amen. That tells your hand when to move and your feet when to move and tell you when to open up your mouth. Praise God. It's conducted by your brain. Uh, amen. But your mind, praise God, your intellectual being of your mind uh, preeminates all, every cell of the body, not just the brain cells. Uh, your mind has a tremendous power over the body system. Amen. Because, amen, God has put this mind in us. Uh, amen. He told us to let this mind be in us that was like the mind of Jesus Christ. Uh, scientists don't understand it. Doctors don't understand it. Other highly trained persons, amen, share their beliefs. But in the actuality, they are two separate and distinct creations. Amen. The mind, amen, we can, amen, can't even visualize, can't even see it, amen, with the natural eye. But the brain, praise God, I was reading about this man, amen, that took a brain out of a person, praise God, amen, and he began to look at the brain, amen, and could saw, see the movement, amen, of the brain, praise God, amen, we could see the movement. He tried to figure out, praise God, what was that brain trying to tell the body, but I'm so glad, praise God, that we got a mind, praise God, amen, amen, that's been created by God Almighty, come on somebody, we got a new mind, come on somebody, I'm so glad it's a brand new me today, I ain't got the same mindset that I had 10 years ago, I ain't got the mindset that I had 20 years ago, and if you up in here today, you don't have the same mindset, I was listening to T.D. Jake say, people have different reasons that they use their brain for, some of them use the brains to come into church and try to find a lady, walk in like you cool, and all that, and want somebody to look at you, but I come to lift up the name of Jesus. I come because I got a brand new mind to give him glory. I come to praise the name and to magnify him because he's worthy of all the praise. And he began to tell them when you do these things, you got a worldly mind. When you do these things, you're not loud crying to order your steps in the word. When you get a new mind, you begin to lose yourself and say, oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. The earth is full of your glory. And I'm so glad you gave me a new mind today. A mind that made me walk right. A mind that made me talk right. A mind that make me look right, the mind that make me do my enemies right, even when they abuse me, when they both accuse me, but I got a new mind, so I'm going to tell you to bless them, God, and all they do, because you said you are blessed who I bless, and you will curse who I curse, so God, I'd rather see them blessed than to be cursed, I'm praying for them, God, you have your perfect way. In them, God, because if you change me, you show sure can change my enemy. Come on, somebody, it's a brand new me. I got to have the mind of Christ that I can be spiritually fit to do a work for the Lord. Is there anybody in here today that want a spiritually fit mind so you can do the work of the Lord? It ain't about you, it ain't about me. Like I told him yesterday, when I introduced myself, I said I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody that can save anybody. I never gave my name. I just lifted up Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of my faith. See, I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about Jesus, the one that blessed suffered and died and rose up on the third day with all power in his head. Come on somebody. 
You gotta be spiritually fed in the mind. We think too much and look at too much of what's happening in the world. But we gotta let the world do what the world do as the world turns. Searching for the father. They are young and restless. Come on, somebody. They are bold and beautiful. But if they're not a brand new mind, they can't be effective in the kingdom of God. Can I find somebody that's willing to say amen? We think we're using what's called our mind that you often to say that the mind is a terrible thing to weigh. But we wait on our spiritual mind every day. Why? Because Paul tells us we got to have the mind of Christ. Guess what? If God ain't created you with a clean heart and a clean mind, ain't no use of you trying to fake it like you done made it. Because God is looking for somebody that's real, real in the mind, real in the spirit, that's willing to say, Lord, I am undone. I'll sit around liars, cheaters, and thieves. But God, if you just clean me up, I'm a cursor. But way down on the inside. But God, I'm looking at the spiritual. I see them angels up there with them hot coals. If you just let one fall on my lips, take out the curse. Give me a new mind. And Lord, you said who go for you? Well, here I am. He said, come on, Isaiah. You want to go? You got a new mindset. I know you saw to be lifted up high when King Ozell died. But you had to get a new mindset. You thought everything centered around the king. But let me tell you this. I am the king of kings. And the Lord of lords. I am your first and your last. Isaiah had to see it for himself. Come on, somebody. Oh, well, one of them whose name was Saul was one that terrorized all of God's people. Come on, somebody. He didn't have a new mindset. He was an old man. Had a conversation of former things. But when God touched him on the road, to the master, blinded him. He said, so, so. Why can't I get the brick? Come on, so. So I said, who's speaking? Come on, somebody. He said, it's me that you are persecuted. Come on, somebody. Then he told him to go down. See, you got to go down. Way, way down. Come on, somebody. Let the Lord lead and guide you. He said, Ananias, he going to lay hands on you. Somebody ain't here. The hands of the Almighty God laid on them later. Come on, somebody. Ain't been no transformation done in the mind. Come on, somebody. Ain't been no transformation done in the heart. Ain't been no transformation done in the spirit. Come on, somebody. But when God, oh God, when He get through with you, you will become new. From the inside out, yeah. have I got any witness? Yeah. It won't it make you yeah. clean inside? Yeah. Won't it make you yeah. all over again? Yeah. How about Jeremiah? Yeah. Jeremiah's I'm a little boy. Yeah. I can't do nothing. Can't even speak of myself. Yeah. But God said, look at here. Yeah. Go down to where the potter yeah. got the potter. Got the clay on the wheel yeah. and watch how he folded it. Watch how he fashioned it in. You say he put on a little bit. Come on, somebody. Put it in now. That belt got some leaks to it. But when I get through molding it, shaping it, fashioning it, it's gonna have a new shape. Come on, somebody. It's gonna have a new 
of Christ. Uh, amen. Got to be transformed. Uh, amen. By the renewing of our mind that we may prove that which is acceptable unto God. Yes, Lord. Yes. Lord. Our mind. Yes. Not talking about our brain. Yes. But our mind. And be, be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed with the mind of Christ. Amen. Because the mind of Christ is what's needed in such a time as this. God wants to reveal himself to the church in these latter days. Amen. Come on, somebody. We're on the verge of the greatest outpouring of God's spirit ever. We're about in the Isuzu phase right now. Amen. Where God's glory gets ready to show up. God does a new thing in the earth. He does not want us to be ignorant of what he's about to do. Come on, somebody. That's why we got to study the word. And when we get in the word, we'll find out what God's strategies are. His blessing, however, require a constant effort to have the same mind as he expresses to his Father in heaven, giving up self for the love of the one he served. Yes. That sounds like what a mighty, mighty. God we serve. Come on, you got to have your mind made up now. Amen. We have to have the mind of Christ because we have the Holy Spirit indwelling in us. Therefore, since we are new creatures in Christ, our habits of mental activity need to be like Christ. Uh, we need to stop complaining and uh, tell somebody to tell God thank you. We need to stop the lying and the deceit and uh, amen, the, the celestial demons, uh, amen, they're running around uh, like behind us and uh, helping our hand. Uh, and he lied, let them get away with it. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, we got to use the mind that God has given to do the will of God. And if you're a leader, be the best leader you can be for God. If you're a lay person, be the best seat woman you can be for God. Amen. Apostle Paul used the word mind signifying the exercise of the mind, including our emotional and spiritual responses creating activity. We can't work for God just sitting still. We got to get up and move. It refers to understanding intelligence and the mental presence. Of, amen. In the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. Amen. If you let your download and your upload of Daniel control your life, you will never have the fullness of God and you will never have a new mind. Amen. Because your mind or your brain is downloading and uploading information constantly. constantly. Amen. You can look at somebody and think they said something about you and they ain't really mentioning your name. But yet because your mind is Amen. uploading that garbage to you, you believe it. Yes, Lord. It's the whole knowledge of Christ, including emotions and validations based on your thoughts. Luke 4 and 1 said, Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, yes. full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan, was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being there 40 days, tempted up the devil. Yes. Amen. He had a new mindset. Yes. Yes. Amen. To let us know that no matter how we tempted, you don't Amen. have to give in to the Amen. devil. Amen. He told us to turn these bread, these mm -hmm. stones in the bread. Yeah. You better give the word of God and say, guess what? Man cannot live by bread alone. But by every word Everywhere. that proceeded out of the mouth of God. No matter how hard a pinnacle is that he takes you to in life, 
You better know that you're going to leave this world one day. We got to have the mindset to know that God has made a place for us. And we got a new mind. And we are a new creature in him. John in chapter 17 revealed the mind of Christ in his rare beauty. Jesus spoke these things and said, lifted up his eyes in heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. The hour is here again. We got the glory. Yes, yes. Your son, the, the son may glorify you even as you gave him authority over all flesh. Uh-huh. That all whom you have given him, he may give eternal life. Uh-huh. Amen. That's the only way you're going to get it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Through Christ Jesus. It's through Christ Jesus. Amen. Remind of a little boy, amen. It wasn't, amen, Forrest, amen. We know Forrest Gump, amen, was a little crippled boy, but this little boy was crippled too. Amen, he had braces on his legs. And every day after school, the little boy would run at him and pick at him, and he had to run home and run home. And, and one day, praise God, he had a new mindset. Amen, began to run. Amen, they began to run him hard. Amen, the little boy, amen, had always lost the battles. Huh? They always caught up with him. Huh? But this day he had a new mindset. Yes, huh? And he began to run even Come faster. Huh? See now you got to run this race now. Huh? Yes. Amen. Even faster today than you did yesterday. Yes. Huh? But praise God you're running with patience. Huh? Look at your neighbor and say I got a new mind. Huh? Come on somebody. It's a brand new me. Huh? Yes. Amen. The little boy began to run. Huh? And he was running praise God. Huh? Because he had another mindset. Huh? And he ran so hard. Huh? He ran to brace and slam yes, off his legs. Huh? Come on, somebody. Yeah. That's what God wants us to do. Yeah. We got to run the braces. Yeah. Huh? Slam yeah. off that devil now. Huh? Yeah. And let him no devil no more. Huh? Yeah. And you can hold me down yeah. huh? with your thoughts of nothing. Huh? But I got something yeah. huh? that you can't take away yeah. from me. Huh? Yeah. I got a new mind in yeah. Christ. Huh? Come on, somebody. Yeah. Huh? I am a new creature in here. Him, huh? Ain't the same way yesterday. Huh? Oh, yesterday gone. Huh? And I ain't worried about tomorrow. Huh? Cause he told me to take no thoughts for it. Huh? But today he giving me power huh? and authority huh? that I can tread over serpent. Huh? Come on, somebody. Huh? I can eat eggs and poison huh? or drink eggs and poison. Huh? And it won't hurt me huh? if I'm doing the will huh? of the Lord. Huh? I ain't asking him a miss. Huh? I ain't gonna test God, but just in case I pick up something that I ain't supposed to pick up, and I didn't know it was in there, the God I serve, He is able, He is able to turn the dead to poison. Come on, somebody, just like He turned the water. Come on, somebody, He can make it go down just as smooth. Come on, somebody, and He gave me power to stop on your head. Come on, somebody. Because if you give a head of anything, the rest of it gonna die. Amen. That is the passion of God incarnated. Mm -hmm. He came to reveal the Father. Yes. And give eternal life to all who will believe in him. Amen. Have I got any believers in the yes. house today? Oh, yes. Come on, somebody. In the mind of Christ, we understand the cross. Uh-huh. Only then will we see the passion of our preaching and Christ be crucified. For I'm determined to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and, and him crucified. being crucified. Amen. That's all I want to know. The term of mind is Christ's character, his attitude, his purple, his humbleness of the spirit, his love, his tender mercy, his compassion, his gentleness, his tact, his goodness, his benevolence yes. toward everybody. He even gave the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the scribes chances to come out of sin. Amen. But I find today people want to be stuck. They are not kingdom minded yes, no more. Yes, yes, Lord. He said there will be no light Mm-mm. in the kingdom of God. The kingdom, amen. There's no confusion. That's right. 
Every time you look around, there's trouble over here and trouble over there. Yes. And there is no sickness, amen, that God can't heal. Right. God just trying to use somebody, amen, to get glory out of their life. Hallelujah. My mother never complained. Hallelujah. When she was sick with counsel. Jesus. Until the day she died, she said, Lord, mm -hmm. how long are you going to let me suffer? That's right. You got to talk to God. Yes, for you. She had a new mindset. Yes, Lord. Oh, we got to talk to him ourselves. Mm -hmm. And talk to others while you in pain. Yes. I know God will yeah. make a way. Yes. Somehow. Somehow. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, he will. Yes, he will. I know the Lord yes, he will. will make a way. Yes. Somehow. Yes. yes. The kingdom of God is fullness of everything that is good. There is righteousness, holiness, peace, joy. Yes, Lord. My heart will suffer through my some my of it, my but my mind is still made up. Oh, I'm going all the way all with the Jesus way. because oh. I found the shepherd. And oh, what a shepherd he is. I found that he'll give me peace in the midst of sorrow. He'll give me hope for tomorrow. And he'll do the same thing yes, for you yeah. if you got a new mind. Come on, somebody. In Christ Jesus. I am whole and complete. Yes. You are whole and complete. Yes, yes. With nothing missing and nothing broken. If you got a new mindset. Thank you, David said, I shall not want. Thank you, Father. He, Jesus the Christ, yes. God Almighty makes me to lie down in green green, 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 green. Green pastor, have you ever seen a green field? Yes, yeah. Lord. And you see, praise God, amen, when the, when the sheep and the cows are out there in that green field, yeah. praise God, they don't do nothing but wag their tail. Huh? Amen, they're just as peaceful. Yeah. Amen, you don't even hear them moving. Huh? Come on, somebody. Because they got the peace. Huh? Amen, they are lying down in green pastures. Yeah, green. Amen, they look a bit over there, a little bit farther. Huh? Amen, you'll find a stream huh? that's flowing with water. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Our everlasting flow. Yeah. Not stale water. Yeah. Not stagnated water. Yeah. Because the owner understands yeah. that it's got to be a water flowing. Yeah. A river flowing like the river of life. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Because yeah. you understand a new mindset. Yes. Amen. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Amen. I keep trying to mention and tell you we got to be concerned about ourselves. Amen. The Bible said, save yourself from That's this right. untoward generation. If you're looking so much at the world, you're going to mess up and be just like the world. Yeah. But I'm going to keep looking up because the Lord is the strength of my life. Yes. Of whom shall I be afraid? It doesn't matter if they raise or lower. Amen. The taxes or whatever they're talking about doing. There's no fear of the economy. There's no fearfulness of the dangers all around us. Yes. But God gets the glory out of our life. Huh? There's no fear when your job is lost. Huh? Amen. Because you understand. Huh? If God takes that job. Huh? Amen. He will give you another yes, one. Huh? There's no fear of marriage or issues and yes, separation. Lord. Because Amen. God said what he put in. 
together. Ain't nobody gonna put us under. So it might be that you with the wrong person. There's no devil or persecution that's gonna keep me from praising God. Because I got a new mindset over yonder way Jesus made. I'm gonna rest from all of my troubles. And you are gonna rest from all your troubles. If you kept your mind stayed on Jesus. If you kept your mind like he told you to do. You can go higher than where you are. Come on somebody. You better tell yourself you are bright. You are smart. You are fearfully and wonderfully made by God. Come on somebody. You better know that suffering is worth it all. Because you understand that no computer drive didn't make you. You are not a robot. But you were created by God Almighty. Can we get an amen right there? I need about five of you to just clap your hands. And tell God thank you. I need four of y'all just stand up. And say I believe God. In all that he's doing right now. I believe God, he's gonna make a way out of nowhere. I done seen it too many times. When you get a new mindset on Christ, when you turn around and say, God, I thank you. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. Sometimes you can just thank him. You ain't have no reason to thank him, but you just thank him. I'm thanking for a brand new me. I'm thanking for a new day. Yes, so God, I can thank that I was gonna make it over. But huh? I got all every once in a while. I got to look back. It's the God I wonder. But I thank you, God, that I made it over. I thank you, God, that through my struggles, my trials and my tribulations, they come to make me stronger because I got a new mind, God. I thank you that's a brand new me. So I can pray in you. No matter what the doctor report said, I can pray. Praise you. Yes, Lord. No matter what the Lord you said, I can praise you. No matter what the husband, the wife, and the children are doing, I'm going to praise you. Yes, Lord. Because of who you are, I give you glory. You better say to the Lord, make your love song to him. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Because of who you are, you want to. Amen. If you ain't got a tune, praise God. He said, make a job for yes. Lord. Stop trying to be so cute with God. Amen. Because of who you are, God. Yes. I can give you the glory. Yes. You told me to come just as I am. Yes. This is no ever right here, God. Yes. Amen. I'm bending at your feet, God. Okay, God. Because of who you are, I give you glory. See, when you walk in the newness of life, you can talk to Father like that. Come on, somebody. Because over 2,000 years ago, John 3.16 said, But well, God, 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 God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Thank you, Jesus. Then it said, God sent his son into the world not to condemn the world. Stop condemning people. But through the world, that through the world, that through him the world might be saved. He went to that rugged cross for you and I. But he had a new thirst, a, a new mindset to say, Father, in your hands, I commend my spirit. And I don't know about you today. My spirit. My mind, my will, and my emotions, I want to go back to the Lord. Because he knows what to do with it. Yes, God. And I tell him thank you today. Thank you, Because of who he is, we are here today. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. And I don't care what sin you have done. Y'all listen at me. What thing that you have committed that you think is so bad and you can't tell nobody else, tell Dr. Jesus. Yes. 
All you got to do is repent and tell God, I'm sorry. And mean it from the bottom of your heart. And God will make you brand new all yes, over again. Yes, the Bible say out of the heart flows the issues of life. But that mouth, out of the mouth. But that, that mouth got the line up with the mind. Somebody tell God thank you. Thank you, Lord. God rose his son up, Jesus Christ, on the third day. Yes. With all power in his hand. You are not liking anything. Yes. When you got the mind of Christ. So today, as we come to this close, he said, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are pure, whatever things are just, whatever things are good report, think on those things. He said, there be in a virtue, there be in a praise. Come on, somebody. You got to have praise and something Amen. on the day. Amen. But this Jesus we're talking about, the one that rose up out of the grave over 2,000 years Amen. ago. All the Swanson never made the statement, I'll be back. All right, come on. Well, he got that from Jesus. Because he said, I'm coming back for you. I'm looking for a church yeah. without a spot or a wrinkle. Yeah. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, he's not looking for you. Yeah. He's looking for those that have the sign on them for members only. Amen. And it's so easy to become a member. A, admit that you are sinning. Admit that you need Jesus and Christ. B, believe it in your heart and see confess it with your own mouth. He said, thou art saved. Just as simple as that. And we make things so hard. But when you come in, he will give you a new mind. Yes, he will. Yes, and you'll become a brand new man. Thank you. So look for him because he's on his way back. Amen. Riding high on the cloud. Behold, he comes. Riding, riding, riding. riding on the cloud. Mm. Are you looking for him today? Come on, somebody. Jesus. Stand up on your feet and give God some glory in this place on the day. Stand up on your feet and bless the Lord at all times. Let his praise continue to be in my mouth. Come on, somebody. I'm going to pray for you. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to glorify him. I'm going to worship him. I'm going to stand up. Nothing, no plague will come now thy dwelling. Sometimes it looks like life has shot you a bad curve. But don't look at what's going on right now. Yes. Because it ain't over to God. Say it's over. Amen. Job had to suffer a long time. But God gave him double for his trouble. I encourage you today, wait for your double. Amen. In the name of Jesus yes. the Christ. Yes. We thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. For our new mind. Yes, Lord. And we thank you that you have created a brand new man. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless you. We give you glory. We honor you, Father. We pray that this word would ring out today. In the name of Jesus, Father, Father God, first to the ones that say, God, that you will give them a little yet more strength to hold on, God, to their change come yes. in the name of Jesus. For those that have not yet accepted you, God, that are running to and fro, God, we pray, God, that this word will reach them and capture them, God, that you may be able to come and sit and die with them, God. And feed them from the night of day. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Father, we are praying much for that sinner man, boy, and girl today. The one that backslid from you, God, that made a commitment to you and now will turn their back on you. Father, we are praying now that you will rescue them. Yes, Lord. Father. And bring them back into the fold. Yes, Lord. 
yes. according to your perfect will and your way. Because it said it's your wish that none should be lost, but all come to likewise repentance. So we thank you for your presence. Yes. And we thank you for the joy we feel thank in this you, house. Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. And we give you praise and thank you, Lord, thank you. for thy word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our prayerway. I thank you now for opening up airways and throats, God. Yes, yes, that only yes. you can do. Thank you, God. And with you, God, thank we you, God. lift up everything mighty, to mighty, you. God. And tell you thank you. Thank if you do it for me, God, I know you'll do it for everybody else. So, Father, let them trust and believe in you to know that there's nothing too hard for you. For it's in the name of your Son, Jesus the Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen.